Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I am Natasha, one half of the Traveling Foxes. I moved to the Netherlands, Netherlands, four years ago. I begrijpen beter Netherlands, maar ik speak nog niet zo goed Netherlands. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you around my neighborhood, South Oost. And I made a video about this about a year ago but that's more of sharing my experiences and debunking the myth of Belmer being the Dutch ghetto. Today is going to be a totally different video because I'm going to be going through a lot of activities today through the program of I Amsterdam, which they do every year in every neighborhood in, in the city. So 24 hour Amsterdam really just gives us an opportunity to experience the city in new ways. I hope you join me in this video and rediscover my neighborhood together. Grab my bike and my raincoat and let's go. Biking in Amsterdam is such a pleasure, especially around my neighborhood with lots of greener spots. My first stop is a place I've never been to but was excited to check out. It was a Boren Market in Panenkoeken House, a very cozy space selling specialty items and a petting zoo with lots of different animals. I was so surprised to see a children's farm right in the middle of this concrete jungle of apartment buildings. Here I also met Bear, a friendly local who helps keep the animals in the farm happy and love. It used to be farm area. This place in Belmer now. Yeah, not, not the whole of Belmer, yeah. but a big part of it was rural area. And now we are a farm in the middle of a uh, yeah. beautiful concrete jungle. <laughs> it is, it is, yeah. I believe this is here. Like just a neighborhood. Like it's, it's open for everyone, right? Yeah, exactly. We don't have any, uh, how do you call it, borders. So like, it's, it's yeah. a public area. Not too far from this location is a food garden and restaurant with exhibitions on sustainable food and city gardening. Of course, I stopped by for some delicious lunch with fresh ingredients picked right outside their garden. Yum! Now that I'm fueled up, I head my way to my favorite neighborhood cinema. Did you know that Pathé is one of the largest cinemas in the Netherlands? I watch a movie here every month, but on this particular day, I was able to get on a tour and peek behind doors that normally remain closed to visitors. What a cool experience. Time to get immersed with art and discover the secrets of these gigantic murals of Zoud Oost. During this tour, we walk along the flats and learn the inspiring stories about the Rua project and how the impact of art in public space formed a positive image of Zoud Oost. Not only are the street art here so colorful and diverse, it also represents the rich culture, history, and the diversity of the many nationalities that live in this area through the years. Hello, my Hello. name is Albertino. And Hi, my name is Lorenzo, and I want to say you should subscribe and like to her. She's very good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you from here? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. nice. Do you like this neighborhood? Yes. Uh, yes. Nice. <laughs> Speaking of art, I capped off my day with an intriguing contemporary art gallery tour at CBK Zoud Oost and met some of the artists and curators behind the eccentric and futuristic exhibition. The Institute were already existing uh, 34 years and I think it's the fi fifth time that 24 hours is organized and we participated from the beginning and uh, with a lot of joy because uh, it brings together people from southeast and people from other parts of Amsterdam. Belmermeer, the southern southeast part of Amsterdam is very vibrant. They are living more than over 165 different nationalities over here and 
uh, if you come over here, we're predominantly a black society with a large uh, Afro-Caribbean community. Hi guys, so I am back and what a day it has been. It was 24 hours here in Zad Oost, my neighborhood. I quite enjoyed it actually. I wish it was longer, 48 hours maybe next time. But if you are curious about doing the same thing and if you are living in Amsterdam, make sure to check out I Amsterdam because they would have programs more likely next year to be doing this. This is just really one of the many things that I love living in the Netherlands. They're just no shortage of things that you can do. Really happy that I get to experience my neighborhood in a new way and discover a lot of things that I did not know before, especially that restaurant. It was a really, really good find. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog and hit that like button if you like this video. And I hope to catch you guys again next time. Bye.